pain. I need a page turner. Ooh. All right. All right. Well, I've been borrowing my friend's um, Bluetooth page turning pedal. I've tried different ones like Air Turn and the really thin small one too. But I'm gonna try this one made by Coda Technologies called Stomp because it looks really solid and uh, I, think it, um, I think it's gonna be really cool. All right, well here it is. Let's see what's in here. Structure manual. It's in a little bag. Cool. Here's a close-up. And my first impression is uh, very nicely made. It's metal instead of cheap plastic. It's pretty light, uh, less than half a pound. And uh, it's powered by either a nine volt battery or a standard um, adapter. Now there is a USB port, but uh, it's meant to power an iPhone or iPad. Uh, not to power the stomp box. There's no rechargeable battery. So I'm going to open up the screws on the back and put in the 9 volt and give it a try. This is what the inside looks like. There's a little uh, antenna and then the uh, 9 volt battery connector. Okay, I got the battery in. Let's power it up. All right, and let's see how long it takes me to get this working with my iPad. Let's see how intuitive this thing is. I'm gonna set it down. I got my iPad, I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth. Just gotta find the device. And it's not finding it for some crazy reason. Okay. Well, let me try a different one. All right, so I couldn't get it to work with my old iPad. It was an iPad 2, and I had to open up the manual, and it says that it works with most Bluetooth 4 and newer devices. This includes iPad 3 and later iPhone 4S and later, and most Android devices running Android 4.3. Anyway, I have iPad 2. It's pretty much too old. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to keep this thing now, but let's get it working with a newer iPad, which I also have. So it should go a lot more smoothly. Let's see if we can find it now. Here we are, Coda Music Tech. Request pairing, yes. Okay, it's connected. So let's open up my music stand app by Planning Center for the songs that we use at church. So let's open it up. That's the first song. I got my stomp. And it's set to turn left and right. Let's see if it works. And it, not yet. Okay, let's see, I gotta probably do something else here. Probably the settings, or the settings. Pedal and keyboard input. Oh, I guess I have to program it. Next page. This one, previous page, this one looks like I have to program the buttons. 
That should do it. Done. Let's try that again. Open up that song. This should work. Yes, all right. Woo! And back. All right, well at least the basic function is done. But again, you know, I kind of got this uh, stomp pedal to work with my, I wanted to work with my old iPad because that's the one I'm not using for anything. All right, let's open this up. Got the uh, user manual. Okay, let's power this on. Okay. Got the buttons, the pads working. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the two devices. So size-wise, obviously the uh, Stomp is a smaller box and um, the Mookie's wider, but the Stomp is also a lot thicker and heavier with the battery in it. This thing here is pretty light. But it looks like the basic function of the pedals are the same. So here's my old iPad 2 again. Let's get to the Bluetooth. Yes, it says connected. So, looks like it's working pretty well. I can I didn't have to program any of it. Interesting. All right guys, here are my final thoughts. The Coda Stomp it's a really solid device, very sturdy, it's like indestructible. The buttons feel like the other ones on your pedal board. It could be connected to your pedal board via a 9 volt adapter or a battery. And this should last um, a professional musician for a long, long time. On the other hand, the Mookie is lightweight and uh, only $50. Uh, has a rechargeable battery and has the advantage of being able to work with older devices like my iPad 2. So what's my final decision? I'm going to go with this one. Uh, I'm going to keep this one because A, it's cheaper and that $80 that I save uh, will I'm sure go to some other piece of gear down the road. And uh, I really want to use my iPad 2 for my uh, as a music stand because it really isn't good for anything else at this point. So there you have it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave any comments below and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now.